I gotta say, you got some real balls coming back in here. Mr. Picker? Well, if we don't have this conversation today, we're gonna have it tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. And all things being equal, Mr. Picker, I'd rather just get it done. I believe you were at the point where you were explaining why you should live. Ah, and if my memory serves, I was about to have a cigarette. Now, all due respect, Mrs. Hale, I don't believe it's you. I owe an explanation, too. And Mr. Duffy, I apologize for the failures of our business endeavors. But that being said, there ain't no way in hell I'm gonna beg you for my life. But you are owed something. So what say I give you half of my half of the shipment and we go our separate ways? We don't need this guy. Quiet. I'm real low, Boyd. Half a half doesn't make me whole. I understand. Our friends in Mexico are furious about the bullshit that happened in the I desert. I need you to be They're quiet. They're this close to sending a goddamn I need you to here. Stop. I say we put Boyd Crowder's head in a goddamn Mr. box! Picker! You want a cigarette, Mr. Picker? You seem awful nervous. My nerves are fine. Well... Are you sure? Because nicotine can be a powerful relaxant. Shit will kill you. That ringing in your ears. That's two ounces of Amulex on a 10 second timer. Now, I may not know a lot about a lot of things, but I do know how to blow shit up. And my offer still stands, Mr. Duffy. Half of my half. Mike, lock the door. Now. Thank you.